Hi, welcome to another video by Homestyle Customs. Today we're going to be looking at the new Everything Sign 2. So I'm going to quickly take you through what's included in the package and what you could expect if purchasing. Uh, so this is similar to our first Everything Sign uh, with the icons. So the icons fit exactly the same. They're all the same size, so you just pop them in, pop them in and go. Um, so I'm going to take you through uh, the different templates that we created. So in total, there's uh, 57 templates, um, and we tried to think of everything uh, for all the requests that you get from your customers. So you could read through some of them. We have uh, stuff uh, for bar uh, enthusiasts, um, she shed, laundry room, classroom, different hunting, gone fishing signs, uh, wine uh, enthusiasts. Um, and we also have uh, some just general ones, which are similar to uh, the first everything sign, but just a different uh, style completely. Um, and these are very easy to edit. Uh, they're very easy to produce and line up all the names uh, using just the off cut as the template. Um, so if you're familiar with that, then great. But I will take, uh, take you through how to use that template uh, later on in this video. So you could skip ahead to that if you like. Um, so just going through some other ones as well. So there's lots included. There's 57 in total. Um, and then we're also including uh, brand new icons that go with these signs that kind of fit into the different themes. So I'll show you some of them that they're included. So we added more sports ones and you could use it like the sports bar or the man cave type thing. Uh, we added some hunting stuff. Uh, so there's one there. They're, they're kind of scattered throughout. Um, farmhouse theme, music. We added a bunch of different occupations. Uh, like doctors, nurses, and uh, I'll just quickly take you through a couple other ones. So there's some like fishing stuff for um, for a cottage or cabin, uh, more fishing here, some more hunting, some laundry room stuff, man cave, uh, different bar type uh, icons as well. And uh, we added the religious symbols as well, uh, some grilling type stuff and uh, some nautical things as well. So they're all new icons. Uh, the icons, I believe there's uh, 86 new icons that are included with this package. If you like, uh, if you purchase this and you don't already have the other icons, those are available separately as well. I think they're 10 bucks and you get, I think, uh, there's over 40, I think. So aside from all that, what's included, um, I'm going to take you through some of the new additions we added, which is some of the new uh, marketing collateral. So this stuff is made for you guys to achieve sales uh, with your customers. And I'm trying to make it as easy as possible for you guys to achieve sales. Um, so the first thing we did was we created um, these cool sell sheets. Uh, they're all unbranded, so you guys could use them, send them out to your own customers. And what it does, it just gives it a breakdown of what's available to your customer. So um, we have the title at the top and then we have the measurements of the sign, um, the available options. So this is kind of like a quick selection, quick selection guide for your customers to choose what they're looking for. Um, and then it just goes on with all of them there. Uh, next we did uh, a color selection guide for you guys. Uh, so we chose like six of our favorite color palettes. Um, and these are all actual uh, stains and colors that you guys could buy. Um, so this country gray is a Rust-Oleum paint, uh, the chalk paint. Um, so all the spray paints are Rust-Oleum chalk paints, coastal blue, white linen, um, serenity blue. Those are all available, readily available for you guys to use. If you want to, if you choose to use this uh, to send your customers to get orders. Um, and then the, the stains are pretty generic, um, dark walnut. You could either get the Minwax one or there's a Verathane one. Same with the Ebony. Um, so we kind of went through and we chose the best combinations. Um, that way you guys could send this off to your customers. They select which sign they like and which color palette they like. And then boom, it's easy for you guys to just put that all together for them. Um, next after that, we have a cool little uh, promo video for you guys. Um, it was posted on our group, but this is all unbranded as well. It's kind of just to showcase the signs. 
um, that you guys could add on your own social media and you guys could uh, use it as a great selling tool. And it kind of just takes you through the different, um, uh, the icon options and how you place them in and how they could easily take them out. So all this stuff was made for uh, you guys. Uh, so I hope you like it. I hope you get good use out of it. And please give me some feedback on how it's working for you guys and what we can do to improve it. So that way on the next release, we could uh, take this a step further um, and create something even better for you guys. Okay, so that's a bit about the video. Um, I know we'll get a lot of questions about the different fonts that we use. There's lots of different fonts in here. So what else, what else is going to be included is this font sheet. So this font sheet is going to let you know what fonts were used for each of the signs. So if you like the, uh, like the custom text where it's Ashley's Espresso Bar, you know that's the font that we used, okay? Um, and that goes for all of them. So they're all here, all the fonts are there. So you guys could quickly just grab that font and then recreate the exact same thing that, that we're making, okay? Um, aside from that, I'm not sure I'm gonna make a video on the editing of these because they're, they're very uh, simple to do. Like I'm gonna show you. So here is uh, one of the designs, the blank templates, right? Um, so bless this house. And if we find it here, Uh, this might be difficult to find. There's so many. Okay, so right here. Okay, so bless this house, and all you got to do is put the family name on the bottom. So all it is is you're basically adding text here that's outlined, and you're importing that into uh, Glowforge or whatever uh, laser cutting software uh, you have. Um, so that's basically it. Um, and then right now, after this video, I'm going to take you into a quick video on how to assemble these using this blue offcut. So that blue offcut is actually uh, the backing. So if you cut the main template out of that backing shape, you could then reapply it to the backing and get your placement perfectly correct. I'll explain all that to you uh, right now in the next video. Thanks. Okay, at this point in the video, I'm going to show you how to do the construction, how to build one of the new everything signs. Um, by the end of this, I'm going to teach you how to uh, put this together here. Uh, this is just one version of the sign, but essentially I'm going to show you how to line everything up perfectly um, with a perfect uh, offset and everything. Um, and there's another example there. Okay, so let's achieve that. So in front of us, we have um, one of our signs and it's just all in pieces. So there's going to be two offcuts that you're going to need to keep. So there's the inside part of the offcut, which comes from the inside of the frame, and then the, the outside, which is the outside. So hang on to these once they're cut. Um, I just spray painted all the pieces for the inside parts that we're going to keep, right? Um, and I have a backing here that I just spray painted white, okay? So let's show you how to do it. Let's just sit down in front of us here. Um, so first, what we're going to do is we're going to take our first offcut, which is this. So this is going to be used as a template. So just pop that onto the backing. Um, I have these little, just little clips that I'm going to clip on, just on the corners here. And what that's going to do is just going to hold everything in place. Um, keeps things from shifting around. You don't need them, um, but it's not a bad idea. Okay, so once you have everything, the template lined up, you're going to take your, your main piece of the design and you're going to set it right inside. Oh, sorry, you're going to have to glue it first. So I have here um, B7000 glue. Uh, a little goes a long way. So you just apply it on the outsides little bit on the inside, right? So everything's snug in place. The alternative to glue would be uh, a 3M tape, which I would recommend, it's fantastic. Uh, it costs a little bit more, but it makes your life that much easier. So once you have it glued, just go ahead and set it back inside the template, 
right? So it fits perfectly black back in place. Um, and then you're going to take the inside off cut and we're going to use that as the next part of the template, okay? So simply drop that back in place. And then we have all the inside letters that were already spray painted. So again, a little bit of glue on the letters and then just drop them right back in the template. Put a little bit on and just drop it back in. And I'll speed up the video now, uh, now that you get the idea of how to do this. Okay, so now that you have all the pieces back in place, what you can do is you could remove the template right away, um, even with the glue still wet. I do that sometimes, just because if you sometimes put too much glue, you might seep uh, some of that glue onto the backing and then it might make it more difficult to get apart. That's why uh, a little bit of glue goes a long way. Um, or you could just let it dry like this. You could put something heavy on top. I usually put uh, a couple pieces of wood and then uh, a weight on top. And that usually just sets everything until it is cured. Okay, so now everything should be dry. Let's go ahead and remove the, uh, the little clips that we're holding the template in place. And we could go ahead and lift off uh, the outside template. Should just come right off. And then the middle template, we can go ahead and we can just lift that out. And then it should come out nice and easy. So there you have it. Everything's dry. Everything's aligned and it looks great. So I'll come back and I'll show you guys all about the, uh, the icons. Okay, so now that we have everything secured on your sign, everything's glued to the backing, we could go ahead and we could look at some of the different icons. Uh, so how the icons work, is they're sized perfectly to fit inside uh, the icon space. So you do not have to resize anything on here. You just basically uh, uh, print them and you're good to go. And the way they've been developed is that when printed, they're gonna fit nice and snugly inside that spot, okay? So they're not gonna fall out. Um, they are like quite secure in there. And they're very easy to take out. So all you do is just give them a little pinch, a turn and pull up, and they're gonna pop right out, okay? And it makes it super easy to change out your icon to the many different uh, designs that we offer. I think in total there's 86 uh, included um, with this package. Uh, we also have our other icons that came out with our first everything sign that you could find on our uh, website at homestylecustoms.com. If, you, if you're looking for the more of the seasonal type icons, those are also available uh, separate from the Everything One package. Uh, so you can look for those. Um, so that's that. I also quickly wanted to show you um, a, a sign that we used a white hardboard instead of wood. So you can see it's like a white hardboard MDF that was used and not wood. But I want to show you how the icons also work with this material as well. Um, and the benefit of this is that this white hardboard, it's one eighth thick, but it, it's uh, fairly less uh, in a price than purchasing wood. So that's also a great option and it looks nice and clean. Um, and then these are just some of the uh, farm icons, farmhouse icons that go with uh, this particular sign. Okay, um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, please uh, join us on our Facebook group. You can find us at Homestyle Customs. It's Glowforge Laser Designs and Community. Um, it's a growing community, and honestly, I love every single one of the people in there. Uh, everyone's super helpful and super very nice. If you're ever having issues with anything, you just post it in there, and someone's going to help you, uh, whether it be myself or another member. Um, it's just a great community of people that are there to achieve the same goal and to make very creative and cool products and, uh, and service their customers. So we hope to see you on there. Thanks a lot for watching the video and uh, until next time.
Have a great one.